Without any major rivers or roads running through it, the black country was isolated from the markets it needed. They cut canals to the outside world. The cost of black country coal in Birmingham fell by half, but they were killed off by the railways. Attempts to make canal transport an economic proposition in the middle of the 20th century haven't been very successful. If you look under the old bridges, you'll probably see the grooves worn deep in the walls where the barge ropes and cables cut. By the lock gates, the decaying mooring bollards, almost severed by use. At canal junctions where they crossed over the bridges, there are the shallow scoops in the brick cobbles where the horses struggled for a grip. And a few places there are still the old stables or staging posts where the horses were housed and fed. But now they've gone. <laughs>